What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate and welcome to part two of the glowing hand-drawn animation tutorial. Now, if you have not seen that video, I recommend you check that one out first and then come back here because we're gonna be picking up right where we left off. Now, last time I talked about motion trails, smoke decays, and this time we're gonna get more into things like compositing and how to really make it pop. All right, so stick around. And I also wanna give a special thanks to all the new subscribers. It's an honor having you in the Black Mixture fam. I hope you enjoy all the new content. It's made with love for you guys. Also, special thanks to the fam on Reddit who just blew me away again with the comments. You guys are ridiculous. You guys freaking gifted me platinums and golds and silvers. And honestly, I had to Google that stuff because I'd never gotten that before. So huge honor and special thanks to this one who sent this awesome comment. Of course, you know I'm excited. I'm pretty sure you are too. All right, let's go. Okay, so right now we're picking up right where we left off in After Effects. And already this is looking like a pretty cool animation, but we're not done because we have some more black mixture techniques that I wanna show you. The next technique that I wanted to talk to you guys about is called outlines or silhouettes. And all I'm actually doing is drawing over certain parts of their body. Now this can come across as feeling like an energy wave is going through them or they're powered up or something that you may have seen from a character select screen. Lucky Chloe, Jim Kazama, Kuma. And it's really cool because just adding a few simple frames here and there makes such a huge difference. And one of the ways that I even enhance that effect is I have the outline travel from one member of the group down to the next ones just for a few frames, maybe two or three. And this really elevates the effect to a whole nother level. So I wanna show you guys right now what I'm talking about. Bam, yeah, you see those beautiful outlines? <laughs> yeah, so all I'm doing is drawing these outlines for two to three frames and I'm having an overlap a little bit here and there. I really want to accentuate this first step and make it feel as if they're like Power Rangers just assembling together. So that's what you're seeing right now. One of the cool techniques that I'm also doing is alternating between the outline and silhouette just for one or two frames again, and this just takes it to a whole nother level when it gets played out in real time. So now I'm gonna fast forward through a bit and I'm gonna speed through this part because I think you guys can do outlines very easily. If you know how to trace, I, I think you can do this. If not, I, I still think you can because outlines is something that, uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, sometimes the little squiggles add personality, guys, keep it in. No need for perfection here. This is the Bob Ross of animation right now. Let's go. Okay, now that the base animation is done, let's get into some compositing to the compositing techniques that will take this animation to the next level. Here's another really cool black mixture technique. Since this is a dance video, I wanted the shoes to have energy in them. Kind of like my light up sketches when I was a kid. Lights 2.0 from Skechers. I also didn't want them to take a huge amount of time or overpower the scene. So to get them to glow and flicker to different colors, I use Composite Brush, another plugin mentioned in the top 10 After Effects plugins video. Seriously guys, check it out and subscribe if you're not already. And basically this plugin let me key out the shoe selectively just by brushing my mouse over it. It took a lot of finagling with the selecting what to keep and what not to keep. And it helped that the camera was steady throughout because afterwards I was able to create a simple rectangle mask and that effectively took out the entire top glow. For the glow effect, I tried to use trap code star glow and trap code shine, but ended up liking the default glow in After Effects. I messed around with the threshold until the color came into the glow, which normally happens above 70%, and I also increased the radius and intensity until I liked it. I'm purposefully leaving out the specific numbers for some of these effects, because depending on your footage, you're gonna have to play around with the values anyways. Most of these are pixel-based algorithms, and unless you're using the same scene, these numbers don't mean to you. Just know that you have to play around with them, 
move them left and right, up and down, side to side, back and forth, to and fro, hither and thither, over and under, hippity hoppity, round the corner, over the river and through the woods, lickety split, clock in the jizz, grind in the axe, up to no good, I, I, nip I just... in the bud, good and plenty, lollygagging around, making the rounds, painting the town red, packing a load, hugging a tree, skinning the dog, skip to my loo, sowing my oats, passing a stone, shooting the breeze, oh, jumping the stop. fence, humping the horse, dancing a jig, spinning a yarn, yes. sipping the cider, flexing the packs, brewing my dew, Please packing the it. pea, licking the chicken, pinching the pennies, do -si -do. Shut up! Why don't you just shut up right now? For the next advanced technique, I added a camera shake to heighten the energy of the scene. Hold the camera steady. No one wants to watch super shaky cinematography. To do this, I actually rendered out the entire video once I was done making the animations and adding the glow effects, and then I re-imported that into After Effects and applied the red giant camera shake effect to it. The reason why I waited until after everything else was done was so that everything inside of the scene would get this really nice motion blur and position movement, and that really helped sell the effect to make it dramatic. <laughs> It also helped a lot that this camera was super steady throughout so that when I did add in the camera shake, I could apply it specifically to when the beat hits and that just really made the effect come together. A few of you noticed those inverted frames in the animation and I don't know if you've ever seen those atomic test footage. in which whenever the explosion happens, you see this, there's this moment in which the exposure for the camera looks like it shifts and everything just inverts from black to white. And so that's kind of what I wanted to do to make it seem as if there was only this light source coming from the animation itself. So to do that, I actually took the glow effect and applied it to the entire composition. And rather than keeping its glow operation the same, I changed it to multiply. What this did was make it feel as if I turned off the lights and only the light source was illuminating the room. Once I had that set, then I duplicated that layer and turned it on only whenever I wanted it to occur. So this was during points in the beat in which I had hi-hats. In order to make it turn on and off really quickly, I used one of my favorite black mixture techniques, one that I call Blink, and I'm actually making a plugin to make this a whole lot easier. So in order to make it turn on and off selectively and at a very high rate, I applied an expression which I'm gonna leave in the description box below. And what this does is change the opacity from a value of 100 to zero based on the speed value that we set. Now, this can take a pretty long time to set up, so that's actually why I'm also making a plugin, which will make my life a lot easier. And I'm pretty sure anyone else who wants to use this effect throughout their course of work. Just let me know if you want it, and uh, yeah, balls. Okay, and that's it for the video. <laughs> the video <laughs> that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed this one and as always if you're able to make something super dope with this tutorial i hope that you leave a link in the description so that i can check it out and i'm sure the rest of the community would love to see it as well if there's something that you didn't get to uh, follow along in this video or had a little difficulty with understanding also leave a question down below i'll try and check it out and if i can't answer it i will but if not i'm sure there's plenty of others who love after effects who also know how to handle uh, a thing or two inside of their program and maybe they can help you out. So Hey, new subscriber, what the heck? Special shout outs to Tamelo Moon Thing and uh, the Moon Whale. I just got the notification while filming this. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. <laughs> or actually, I don't know if your girls, I didn't check your gender, but I wanna welcome you to the Black Mixture fam. It's an honor to be able to teach for you guys and also send you some dope content weekly. So yeah, if, uh, if I don't know even how to like exit that one, but. <laughs>